is the subject of a new documentary about to debut on Hulu, and our ABC News Live anchor, Lindsay Davis, is one-on-one -on -one right now with Secretary Clinton to talk all about it. Lindsay. Good morning to you, Amy. Yes, we are here with Hillary Clinton, the subject of the four-part docu-series, Hillary. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. What a news cycle it has been, as you well know, just in the last 24 hours. Right. Several prominent Democrats have uh, endorsed Vice President Joe Biden, former Vice President mm -hmm. Joe Biden, among them uh, Amy Klobuchar, Pete Buttigieg. I know that you've said that you want to let the process play mm -hmm. out, but just mm -hmm. curious if you do plan to endorse, and if so, what's the advantage in waiting? Well, look, I think that the process is finally um, moving forward. You know, only like four or five percent of the people whose views are going to be uh, voted on have actually had a chance to express themselves. So there's a long way to go. Today, obviously, is a big day. Uh, so I'm just watching and hoping that we nominate uh, whoever is the strongest candidate to take out uh, the current incumbent. That's the only thing that really matters at the end of the day. Let's turn now to the documentary. You sat down for 35 hours <laughs> of did, interviews. Lindsay. Nothing was off limits. And you get really into a lot of personal anguish. You talk about mm -hmm. Monica Lewinsky. Mm -hmm. Why subject yourself to that? Why relive all of that again? Well, people have a lot of opinions about me, as you might know. And um, I thought, uh, I'm not running for anything. Uh, when they came to me with this idea, you know, why not tell my own story? And it's a story not only about me, but really about women's lives, um, about politics in our country. And you can go back uh, 25 years and see how I tried to get universal health care for everybody. And I got burned in effigy uh, because it was so controversial. Or what I said in Beijing about women's rights being human rights. And you can tell that not only my life, but the lives of many, many millions of other women um, are reflected in this documentary. That's one of the reasons I was excited about participating. You talked about the people's opinions on you. And front and center, right off the bat in this documentary, they talk about this perception that Hillary Clinton is inauthentic. You talk about your <laughs> frustrations with that. We have a clip. Let's take a listen. Okay. When people say, I'm not authentic, what you see is what you get. I mean, I'm sorry if I'm not you know, brilliantly charismatic on TV, but I am the same person I've always been. And going through this gauntlet of unbelievable uh, obstacles, you know, yeah, I mean, you, you know, you get scarred up a little bit. And speaking to that idea of getting scarred up a little bit, there's a quote early on that says that you are one of the most admired and vilified women mm -hmm. in American mm -hmm. history. Do you agree with that? And is part of your hope doing this documentary that it might change people's perceptions about you? Well, what I hope is that people will see a more comprehensive view of me and not a snippet here or snippet there or some rumor or some wild conspiracy theory. Um, because I came of age and I certainly came into the public eye at a time when there was so much change going on in America. Uh, you know, civil rights, women's rights, gay rights. Uh, I was uh, thrust into the role uh, of first lady. Uh, there had never been anybody with a education like mine, with a career like mine. So I was put into uh, a kind of uh, position that nobody had ever been before. There was no guidebook, like, okay, how do you deal with this? And I think what the film does so successfully, and I give a big shout out to the director, Nanette Burstein, who was able to tell a complicated story in a really driving, compelling way. And I hope that people not only learn more about me, but maybe reflect a little bit about their own lives or their mother's lives, their grandmother's lives, uh, what's happening in our country today. And really quickly, just curious to get your response to hearing that Bernie Sanders said <coughs> that if he makes it to the uh, con convention with the most pledged mm -hmm. delegates, that he should be the nominee. That's quite a bit of a, a change in his stance <laughs> from 2016. Your reaction? Well, my reaction is let's follow the rules. We've got rules. We had rules last time and we have rules this time. And uh, I think it's always a good idea to follow the rules. Everybody knew what they were when you got into it. In the campaign, in the documentary, you talk about his campaign from 2016 and you call it, quote, just baloney. And I feel so bad that people got sucked into it. Do you still feel that way now? Sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, that that was my authentic opinion then. It's my authentic opinion now. Uh, you know, here's one of the saddest things happening right now. The House of Representatives under Democratic leadership has passed 400 bills on really important issues, everything from health care to economic security to election security. It just goes on and on. Does anybody know that, Lindsay? Of course not. Nobody knows that. 
Change is hard. It's not glamorous. It doesn't fit into a soundbite. And yet the people who were elected in 2018 are down there doing the people's work. And I just think we ought to be more uh, understanding and realistic about what it takes to get change in this big, complicated, pluralistic democracy of ours. And it's not easy, but boy, is it ever worth it. And I just want to make sure that voters know what can be done if they give the White House back to the Democrats. Hillary Clinton, thank you so much. The docuseries Hillary premieres on Hulu on Friday. We're going to have much more with Mrs. Clinton as we continue this conversation on ABC News Live tonight at 7 p.m. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.